This is a quick stream of consciousness kind of a thought about doing things and how we feel about ourselves in relation to doing things, in relation to what we're doing in our minds and actually doing. Because I was thinking about the things I do, all kinds of little things having to do with work, having to do with provide for my home, having to do with how I shop, or all kinds of things, just little things. And we think about these things and we consider the best way and we do them and we get into routines. I do this this way, I do that that way. And it gets more abstract or esoteric when you start talking about your creator and your relationship to him. But it's the same type of principle. We like to feel, we like to believe that what we're doing is the right thing. I'm doing the thing I should be doing. And that's all understandable. I'm not knocking that. I'm just saying for purposes of understanding, just to get it out there to think about it. Not that I'm going to answer all the questions regarding this, but what that means to us, the way we live and, and the peace we can have or not have. So one way of living is knowing the things that you're supposed to do and them doing them. And I would divide that between the things we do in the world and the things we do in relation to our creator for those of us who believe we have a creator. And in the world, I think it's similar for most of us who are responsible. We know that we're supposed to do things to put bread on the table and to treat our neighbors kindly and decently and be a good citizen, be a good member of the world in which we live in. I, I'm i cool with that. I think that's a good thing we all should do. We should all be cognizant of the fact, the reality that we should consider each other and, and be considerate of each other. And it's good to figure out a good way to do all those things so you're mindful of people while yet not being a human doormat or anything like that. But when it comes to God, I shouldn't say but when it comes to God, and when it comes to God, there's, because obviously in the world there's being responsible or being irresponsible. And we tend to, with through religion anyway, tend to apply the same concept with God in that what is responsible and what is irresponsible, what is considered of God, what is not considered of God. The thing that most religion teaches you is, you is to be considered of God is to obey his laws and then he'll be considerate of you then he'll bless you and he'll do all these good things or he he won't do bad things to you because you're now doing what you should be doing according to what his law has said for you and that's religion pretty much all religions are some form of that and what my wife and i like to share is the fact that we have found out the truth, the absolute truth that he has done everything. I know there are lots of people that say that. We know he's done everything. And we listen to some of them, watch them, observe their teachings, and they still have that little caveat. But because he's done everything, it only makes sense that you better do some stuff. <laughs> it always has that thrown in there. Uh, well, uh, you know, to show your appreciation. Come on. And uh, we don't believe that. We we do all kinds of things, but it, it's it's hard to explain because we're not doing it because it's the right thing to do, or because it only makes sense because to show our appreciation, all these things. Because we know he has done everything. He literally has ever done everything. If I decide to be selfish, or if I somehow become disabled, and I can't, quote unquote do anything he's still going to get everything done that he wants to get done the point is am I going to be doing it with him or not that's that's the difference whereas before in religion it's implied that certain things won't get done because you're not doing them God can't do them unless he's doing them through you and so souls won't be saved and their blood will be on your hands, of course, because God chose to do it that way. He's not going to get it done. He 
because you chose not to listen or you chose to be lazy or disobey or what about all those years before you believed? For those of us who spent many years as non-believers, it's a lot of blood, a lot of opportunities we had. Or I guess religion teaches you it just starts. Your opportunities start once you believe and then you become fully responsible for every single human being around you and you then gotta feed his sheep as it were. And we don't see it that way. And it's not, I feel like, I feel silly having to explain this, that it's not so I can have the liberty to go out and sin and you know, that's all obvious. We have no desire to sin. We're not indulging our flesh and doing everything we can because whoopee, you know, God did it all. So now we don't have to do anything. That's not how it works. We're not filled with religious pride about all the things we're doing. That's another nice thing about it. But we know he's doing everything and, and he allows us to participate in that. And we do. When, it, when such an opportunity comes up. We do it, but we don't assume that we are in essence God and have this command to just by default be doing these things, be winning these souls, saving these souls, witnessing to these souls because there's they're there. There's souls around us, so you must, and then if you're not, then you're failing because that is the other thing is, is you can't possibly know if you're doing enough no matter what you're doing. Or if you're doing the right thing, you might be doing enough, but you're doing the wrong version of it in the wrong place. How can you possibly know? Whereas if you trust that he's done everything, then you can have those ears to hear when he calls you to do something and you just do it because he's already doing it and he, he kind of calls you over and says, hey, wanna do this? And you do, because it's wonderful, because it's a joy. And not an obligation or a duty or an obedience. It's just something you do because, like you, you do it with any other friend or any other person you care about. You like doing things with them because that's how God he is. He likes doing things ah, with you. Anyway, my truck stalled out. So, thanks for watching or listening or considering or all of the above. Any or all of the above. In Jesus' name, amen.